I'm Angela Taylor, live in Cumberland County, one of the hardest hit areas because of Florence. And we went into the Cedar Creek community. We met Terry and Misty, who live back into that neighborhood. Luckily, their home was okay. A lot of their property was damaged. Um, they were able to get their chickens and their dogs out of there before the storm came through. There was one woman we met. Her name was Elizabeth, and Elizabeth did not want to leave her home, and she especially didn't want to leave her best friend behind. We were there today when she was finally reunited with him. Elizabeth Osborne had no plans to evacuate her Cedar Creek home ahead of Hurricane Florence. We don't like to leave. You, you've noticed, right? We don't like to go anywhere. But when the water started to rise and the winds picked up, she was forced to find shelter, leaving behind her best friend. Oh, I'm stressed out over my dog not being with me. The water is still too high for Elizabeth to drive in, but someone was able to get her back to her home. However, Sheba couldn't come with her. They're great neighbors. They always have been. And again, in Cumberland County, we know the Cape Fear River has crested, but it probably won't get below flood stage till at least Saturday. So a lot of the families that live in this area, especially the rural part of Cumberland County, the low lying areas, the ones that were told to evacuate that one mile radius, they won't be able to return anytime soon. Many of them still staying at the shelters, even though the evacuation orders have been lifted. We know one family staying at their local church. Just, a, you know, this is a really neat area because it's really family. Every Everybody is helping each other. Um, they talked about how all the neighbors took their tractors to somebody else's property. They took some horses to another property. Um, probably the friendliest people I've ever met live right here, and they are still smiling despite what has happened.